In this presentation, we would like to show how to use Pickering Signal Routing Software Switch Path Manager with NI LabVIEW. A basic knowledge of LabVIEW programming is required. This demo uses the prepared Switch Path Manager project, My Project, explained in the previous video. The panel in front monitors the relay state of two 10 by 4 matrices connected via a double pole single throw switch. It will show any switch signal path in red. The Pickering PXI modules run in a LXI modular chassis with the shown IP address. After launching LabVIEW, make sure that the Pickering library PISPM appears in the functions palette. If not, then edit your palette set and add the PISPM folder. Each SPM program requires a start sequence and a stop sequence. The start sequence has already been added to the block diagram. The stop sequence will be added later. By double clicking the start sequence icon, it opens the front panel and we are able to select the appropriate switching project, in this demo, my project. The project path can now be copied and pasted into the path constant. If we run the example VI, SPM launches and the given project will be loaded into the selected boot state, which in this case is online. With the get endpoint names VI connected to the start VI, we are able to read back all available endpoints of the current switching configuration. With those endpoints, we are now going to create signal paths on the fly. We will add the connect endpoint names VI to the block diagram. Define the starting endpoint, for example Y4, and define the target endpoint, for example Y8. By highlighting the execution and running the example code in loop mode, we can see that the startup with reset equal true resets the system and the connect endpoints VI performs the connection. Automatically finding a possible single route for that connection and is closing all required relays. Let's add another single route by connecting additional endpoints. Stop the running VI first, copy and paste the first connection, wire the line and change the endpoints to, for example, X3 and the target to X17, X19. Run again the VI in loop mode and see what's happening. A second route will be found and established. As next, we would like to disconnect an endpoint from an existing connection. Add the disconnect endpoints VI to the diagram. From the first route starting at X3, we will disconnect X19. So we are wiring X3 to the starting endpoint input and define the target endpoint to be removed. If you run the program now, we can see at the end of the sequence that X19 has been removed from the second route. When a user has been finished the debugging or the application will be closed, the SPM stop sequence should be added to the diagram. Wire the arrow line and double click on the VI. When terminating your SPM switching program, you either select Reset the system, or Terminate without any change, or totally shut down the system by stopping the server and removing SPM and thus the loaded project from the memory. Let's assume the server should be stopped, but all relays should stay in the current state. When running the complete sequence, the switching will be performed and keeps its current state, even the system has been stopped at the end. With only a few programming steps, a switching system controlled through the Switch Path Manager API is easy to use and easy to maintain. Look for more videos about SPM on our website. Thanks for watching.